Okay, good night, Mrs. Everly. Yep, yep, next week. Bye. She makes the best sandwiches. <laughs> hey, everybody, how's it going? It is your friendly neighborhood farmer, Raznick. We are back on No Man's Land. I was just seeing Mrs. Everly. That's who lives in that house there. That's who I like to pretend lives there. And she makes wonderful sandwiches. As long as you stop by and see her, she'll feed you. All right. What am I doing up here at the shop? Well, and it is pretty much the same day as the exact the episode, previous episode where we built Founders Rock and we added our greenhouses. I haven't. It's it's literally been an hour since I finished that. So what we're gonna do is we're going to be planting some cover crop, and I want to plant some canola. I have my little three meters meter cedar. But I don't want to use that. I'm going to use this thing. Because it's a cover crop. We're planting a cover crop. And it's going to be canola. Why canola? Well, I want to buy straw from other players. So I'm not going to plant a grain. I don't want to put in oil seed radish. Because it doesn't give you anything other than a fertilization state. And really, fertilizer is pretty cheap. With all the digestate, slurry, manure. And everything else on the map. So, we're going to... Put in canola, we'll contract it out in the spring to be harvested. We'll follow the canola with soybeans. And then the soybean ground from last year will be left, you know, over winter. And then we'll plant that in the spring with corn. Oh, no, I don't want to buy it. I just want to lease it. Just leasing it. I don't, I don't want to buy it. I don't, it's, it's $18,000 and I'm willing to use it one time. I don't know, when it's all said and done, it may be worth it just to buy it. Oh, wrong button. Probably been better off buying it. <laughs> but I won't use it probably ever again other than just in this episode. And I'm doing it just to kind of role play a little bit. Because I want to, I want to pretend like I'm putting down a cover crop. I wish there were other cover crop options. Um, like here in the States, I know a lot of people use rye. Um, a lot of stuff that is never really harvested. They're, they don't ever harvest it. Um, they just plant it. I'm, a lot of places use canola as a cover crop, and it's never harvested. So, but here, we're going to harvest it because that means money. They like money. So we come by here on the right if you watch this is Founders Rock <laughs> I love it love it got, the, got, got our little parking sign looks really really nice I added a few more textures to the dirt added a couple little puddles you know just kind of blend it in make it look real that's all I added I've got the greenhouses up and running they're full of manure and water. They're both completely full. I'm curious to see how long that lasts. I really want to know how long that lasts. But again, I think to role play it, the best thing to be, do is I don't think we should have tomatoes in the winter. Even with a greenhouse, I don't see that as feasible. We'll do like three seasons. These will be three season greenhouses. So that's my plan. All right. Let's get some seed. I think I hit the lower button. I think we can fill this thing. It has a very, very, very tiny seed box, but I'm pretty sure. Yep, it does. Holds 300 liters. Very, very, very tiny seed box. That's alright. That is okay. We don't want grass, we want, oh, we'll see, we want canola. So we're going to be refilling this quite a bit, but that's alright. I like to torture myself, and you all know this. Technically, I probably should cultivate the land, but for the sake of time, oh, we're not going to do it. Let's turn our GPS on. Auto width lines for now, just so we can get a plot. Um... We're gonna go up and down. Uh, also, when I'm done with this episode, we're gonna do some other. We're gonna do other couple other quick things. We're gonna put a ditch in. I want to put in. I want to try to put in a ditch. In fact, let me. I want to do that real quick. 
I wanted to put in some more stuff. And I don't, I hope this is going to look okay. But I wanted to put like kind of a, a ditch right through here. Probably should, I, I wonder if I should lower that ground. <sighs> I'm curious to see what this will look like. Let's lower this. Ah, oh, I knew that would happen. No! That's all right. Committed now. We're pot committed now. I want to kind of put like a little low spot in here. Fix all this in a minute. It's all right. It's okay, people. It's okay. This is kind of... It's weird how I can't... What if I do square if that'll work better? It kind of seems to be working a little better. I just want to put a little low area. It's still not low enough. And we're, I'm going to put some rocks in here. And then just some water. It's going to be kind of like a ditch. Still not low enough. I'm going to end up spending a bunch of money putting in a ditch, you watch. Silly stuff like putting in a ditch. I'm going to spend all this money. I already ruined my field. Should be ashamed of myself. I just think it would be a good, like, all this water that's coming off this hill, I don't, you don't want it to end up in the field. So I think it'd be best for it to be kind of down here in a, like a little, little, little trough area. Could be wrong, that assumption. And more than likely I am. But I like it. I think it looks cool. And if this works out, I might put in more ditches and creeks and bridges. You say I did a bridge. Just teasing. I think I'm a bridge in. It's this little kind of just this little ditch that kind of catches all the water. All right. Now let's switch this back to our this. Like I said we're just gonna kind of put a smattering water down in here. I can't, if I go low, I probably can hit like the fill plane, but I just don't know how low I would have to go. I'm afraid it'll really mess up the terrain too much. So we'll just put this in here. Sure. Why not? All right. Now we have to, let's clean this up just a little bit. Just kind of put some smatterings of dirt here and there. Doesn't have to be perfect. In fact, it can be kind of ugly. Nope, nope, nope. This is what I call dirty grass through here. Yeah, now it's coming along. See? See what uh, just a little bit of color will do for your painting people. Bob Ross was right. Yeah, that looks good. That looks really cool. That's cool. I think it looks awesome. Doesn't take much to get me excited. Just for a plan to come together. Other than this little bit that I ruined. But that's alright. Notice it. <laughs> Won't even notice it. Oh, I think it looks great. I think it looks perfect. I said it's it's not the deepest ditch in the world, but it's just enough, just enough to to catch kind of that water as it rolls off the hill there. Yep, I like it. I, I do. Really happy the way that turned out. Yep, I'm happy with that. And then we also need to do one more thing here. At least I want to. 
want to put in a little, just a tiny little track. Nothing big. Really, really little. Just between here. Because there's, you know, some tractors driving up and down through here. Not a lot of them, but just enough. Just enough. I swear it will work. I swear one of these episodes will actually will do something, I promise. We'll actually work on planning. But then, it, I mean, you guys know what it looks I mean, you know what planning looks like. See, this is the stuff that's cool. This is the stuff that's like, oh, wow, that's imaginative. That's a great idea. What made you think of that, Raz? See? See? Now you're like, hmm. He's a genius. We didn't even know it. And just kind of, I'm just going to kind of do this right here. I thought, I thought about like putting a road this way, but I don't like that idea. We'll just kind of make a nice big kind of turn around, you know, it's kind of, kind of bleed that off in each direction. Put a little. Tell you these puddles make it. These puddles make this map. The ability to place those down make it look so cool. Put in some mud. I think that's mud. It's a different dirt color. All right. Perfect. Looks good. All right. Now we have our little ditch area over there. We have our little track. All right. Let's get to work. First things first. Oh. Oh, steering wheel, cooperate with me right now. It's actually the lag is pretty pretty severe right now for some reason. Like my latency is in the 70s. I don't know why. I really don't. Couldn't tell you. And we're planting cover crop. I'm just curious to see how far this canola goes. This thing is slow. You only go seven miles per hour. I didn't. I didn't know that you could plant with it for the longest time. I really, really didn't. So right now, I think it'd be a good time to get caught up and talk about um, the plans with the map. Maybe what you guys want to see. What would you like to see? Um. I'm, I'm pre-recorded these, a lot of these episodes are pre-recorded, and probably when you're watching this, like another week has gone by, it's going to be really, really hard to capture everything that goes on, because it's a multiplayer map, and, and time just moves, it just moves by. So every time that I'm on, and like we roll, or there's an event, or something like that happens, I will try to capture that specifically, that way I can share it with you. Anytime there's any changes made to the map, or I build something, or I add something, I'll definitely want to show you guys that. Um, let's go with a little realism. Let's turn our lines off. It's working, Cap. So, definitely want to show you guys as much as, as much of that as I can, because I think that's I think the fun part about this video. Uh, if you're just here to watch me drive some machinery around. Um, I'm trying to change that. I think there's a lot of that out there, and I'm not saying that's bad. I love watching farm sim videos. I love watching time-lapse stuff. I love watching role-play stuff. I love watching let's play. I just love this game. I love it. It's a great game. Me, I'm just trying to do something a little different, especially with a multiplayer experience. I think it's kind of neat because it brings some different touches to the map. What are we sitting at? $68,995. I really want to buy another cow pen and then this land here at 55. So that's probably going to be my first purchase in the spring because I'm going to buy lot 55 right here in front of me and then we're going to put the large cow pasture in. We're really going to focus on getting our cows larger or our herd larger. That's where I'll dump all my money into. The farm is kind of laid out at this point, so we really don't need a whole, whole lot of land. 
Like I said, I want to buy 55. I want to buy 53 up there where that rock is because I, I want to just put a road between those rocks and put another yard up there. That's the only reason why. And then maybe we'll put another hay field that way. Or we'll, what we'll do is we'll extend these hay fields out bigger. So the whole hill is our hay field. And then eventually we'll sell the old cow barn right there and I'm going to put in a cattle pasture. And that is a mod I have installed here. And what I want to do with it is I want to use this. It only holds 100 cows. But I want to do beef cattle in that. And then I'm going to use Nostalgic's large cattle barn, which holds 400 dairy cows. So we'll have 500 head. We'll have 400 dairy cows and 100 of the cattle. And then if everything's going fine on the map and everything's going well and we don't have any issues, we may allow more animal pens. As it sits right now, I just didn't want somebody coming in here dropping down, you know, 20 pig pens and then... You know, it just, I'm trying to keep the game a decent pace and entertaining and fun, but as close to real as I can make it. That's really my plan there. If there's something, I, I would like to add Straw Harvest. We've been talking about it, and I think eventually we will get there. Um, we're just trying to see if the map connectivity situation improves. I'm starting to think it's just the way that we're playing this multiplayer game where everything is made from scratch. I just think that's causing hang-ups when it loads in. Could be wrong. Usually am. But I think that's what's going on there. The old dudes. We got 24.9 hours on the dudes. It's a pretty it's a lot of hours. It's already late on them. Man, time is full. This year has just flown by on this server. It really has. Know what we need? Thumbnail. We need to take a picture of this. So I ha we have Easy Dev turned off because we were maybe thinking um, that was the problem. So I'm just gonna cheat this in. Let's see, it's a good angle. This angle. This angle. What should we do from the rear? Let's do one from the rear. We haven't done that. I haven't done that much. Let's do it no, action shot, though. I'm gonna get an action shot. Action shot. Alright, there we go. Then turn off the toggle. The flight HUD mode will turn that off. There we go. I love using the console commands. The easy, easy dev controls. Uh, it does pretty much the same thing you do all through console commands, just with a click of a button. Just kind of handy. Oh, I left our HUD off. Oh well, we do it without the HUD. We're gonna record the rest of the episode without a HUD. Can't turn it back on unless I type in the toggle again. You know what? We're not gonna do it. We're gonna try. Oh, cool. So we're gonna play this as real as possible for the next ten minutes. We're gonna see how soon we run out. We have a little gauge right there we can check. And we'll actually eventually quit planning. So we're going to put canola in this field, and then the big one over there around Founder's Rock. That's where we're going to put it. That's the plan. I could time lapse it, but I've been doing a lot of time lapse, and uh, I try not to overdo things. I try to change things up a little bit. could hire a worker and get like an aerial view and time lapse it from one angle but I'm afraid that the seed box won't hold up and the whole field won't get done you know kind of like a time lapse aerial view almost like the loading screen when you load in uh, arms in then my next so during the winter where we won't be doing a whole lot of field management I'm going to do farm tours. I really want to do farm tours. We'll start each week. Um, or maybe we'll do two at a time. I want to do tours of everybody's farm. We'll interview them. They can talk about what their plan is and what they're doing. That way you can kind of know what's going on there. Definitely want to do those too. There's a lot of stuff. Stuff going on. 
having a blast. And I'm going to get rid of that shed at some point because it has snow on the roof. Unless we can get a fix for it. I know there's somebody, there's a Missy B. Uh, I talked to her just a little bit over in Alien Jim's Discord. And she asked what shed that was and I told her. And she said she'd look into it. She's put in some really nice mods. If you, if you go to uh, the farming simulator.com or the in game mod hub for the modder Missy B, you'll be able to find her there. So thank you, Missy, if you're looking at that. And if you find a solution for it, thank you so very, very much. I can't remember who the mod author is on that. I really can't save my life. If you know who it is, or if it's you and you're watching this, can we fix the snow on the roof? Is it possible? It may not be. It may just be. You know, if you want snow seasons on roofs, you kind of have have that problem. We could sell silage. I have a bunch of silage. I think I have like 450,000 liters. Actually, we probably will sell some of that to generate some money, and that's what we'll buy this field with next year. And then our income from the tomatoes over the next little bit, because we won't refill that. We'll just fill it let it run out over winter. really don't have anything else to sell. I have soybeans to sell, but those really aren't sold until spring or summer. It's like one of the best prices for soybeans. Tell me if you like this playing without the HUD. I actually kind of, I'm kind of enjoying it. I like it. Let me know what you think. I can try to do it more. I mean, if you want to see it, I'm, I'm down for it. Whatever makes my game more challenging. See, our little gauge there is almost out. You can see it running low. <laughs> running low. Just kind of keep our head turned here. Man, I have great range of motion on my neck. Isn't that crazy? <laughs> I know there's some folks that use, like, track IR. And that way, when they turn their head, it'll work. I think for about out. So, let's see. I don't see any seeds in the window. None at all. Well, I'll tell you what we're going to do. We're going to go and reload this. It's going to be hard because I'm not going to get any triggers or anything. So we have more paths to put in. We're going to put in some more roads, some little paths as we expand our farm. Stuff like that. I don't know if I've showed you yet. Let me, uh, I don't think I have showed you. Here, let's go over here and look real quick. You guys get the gist. I'm, I'm playing canola. Alright, you, you get it. <laughs> I got a couple more minutes here to fill. We'll go up here, we'll look. I'll fill up the cedar, start planting in the call. So I built this little put this little path up the hill here all the way up to the top I'm gonna leave the forest I really like how the forest looks then I eventually want to take a back road down to the shop here take a little dirt road that runs right into the shop and got our little kind of a, an, a hedge but not a hedge just some bushes, flowers, a few rocks here and there. That way. And grass field on this side, grass field on this side. And that should be more than enough hay for a while. Like I said, if we buy this lot, which we will, we'll extend this grass field all the way out. Village bought all that and he mowed it. I don't think he wanted it. <laughs> so, I think he decided he wasn't going to keep that property. So, that should rot away. I'm tempted to go pick it up. <laughs> Might do that and sell it. No, just teasing. But yeah, and then then we'll extend this grass field out this way, all the way over to the rocks here, and then there'll be a road that comes from the main farm, kind of up this hill, and then up here at the top of the hill, right here on either side, we'll like tuck in kind of another yard, you know, secondary yard of some kind. If this is hay, I might take it. It's hay. 
this hay. And maybe coming back to that. <laughs> we'll, we'll see what happens. But yeah, the road will kind of thought maybe like hug this way, kind of flow with the land, and then swing around. This forest here, I'm, I'm going to do some logging, and then I also want to plant trees. So I'm going to kind of plant this forested area, replant. That's my goal. Let's fill up our tea tender. I like our little silo here. That's as big as the silos we're going to get. If we get any more crop and we have room for, we'll put it in the elevator and pay rent. I think the yard is looking great. If I should, uh, let me know. Let me know if there's some stuff to add to make it a little more realistic. Like I said, this shed is probably going to go. I like it, and at the same time, I don't. Let me see if I can get the trigger. There it is. Seeds are full. See? Who said you need a HUD? Which fuel I got? I'm on red. I'm almost on E. So let's go get some gas. Let's go get some diesel. Could put a fuel pump on the farm. I should do that. But what fun's that? We'll drive over here. We'll fill up the tanks at Weasels. We'll admire Founders Rock for a moment. I need to talk to Mrs. Everly about it. She's, you know, she's been here forever. So maybe she, she knows a little bit. Maybe she knows where some other landmarks are. Huh. I wonder if we might find, like, an old cabin in the woods somewhere. There's no telling what we might find. See how important it is to have working gauges, modders? Gas gauge works. Fill that up. Over here at Weasels. And apparently this fuel, it's it's slow to fill up, but it's cheaper. It's like 15% cheaper than up there at the shop. Weasels is running a deal. Yeah, let me know in the comments what things we can do to improve it visually. You know, let me know. I'm open to anything. Let me know what you think would look good. What would make the yard look better. Um, I'm kind of trying to keep it tight. I don't. I don't want to spread out really big. That's. I, I like it. I'm gonna. Like I said, this this tractor and maybe the the fence. The fence about as big as I'm going to get. The 800. I don't see myself getting bigger than that. I think that's like 250 horse. So that's as big as the tractor I'm going to get. I can't. I like the yard. It's great. Let's get back to work. I don't think in real life you would unfold this on the move. Probably not. It's probably not recommended to do that. Probably would get in position and then unfold it. Yep, we made it to the end of that row. Now, if I was really talented, I would do this without GPS, but that's not going to happen. I can promise you that. Alright, I think that's where we'll call it quits for this episode. We are going to get this planted. We'll get the canola cover crop planted over two of the fields. The soybean fields that were already harvested, we're just going to leave those. We're going to leave the stubble on them. We'll leave those be over winter. And then in the spring, as early as we can, we'll get corn planted in those. There'll be corn for silage. Um, and then we'll harvest the canola and put soybeans and then switch the rotation. So next year we'll plant canola in those two fields. These two fields uh, will be left over winter with stubble, and then in the spring we'll plant both these big fields in corn. And we'll keep working hay. And that is kind of the rotation from here on out. Until next time, everybody, stay safe. Thank you, thank you, thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share. 
Tell your friends. Tell your friends all about it. Um, and thank you, everybody. Channel has grown exponentially lately, and I'm so flattered. I, I can't believe it. I'm having a lot of fun with this, and I really, really want you to have fun with it too, as viewers. So I'm, I'm all for an interactive experience. Let me know what you think. Let me know what you'd like to see or what I what you think I could add. And uh, we'll definitely take a look at it. All right, everybody. Thanks for watching.